So this video is not really much of an interesting one. This video is about this, this creature. And as some of you may notice, this is a Splatoon 3 model. And definitely does have its perks, but I've actually come across a few people that actually have had a hard time actually putting this thing together. So I thought, you know what? Why the heck not? This may be helpful, it may not be. <laughs> In the end, it's bound to help someone, at least in some way. So today we're actually going to be going over on how to make this little inkling and we are going to figure out on how this can actually work in such a way. Well, we're going to be learning how to build it. So without further ado, let's get started. Eh? All right, so here we have our, our default blender session, really just normal and a Vulcan cube. You know what all Blender systems do? Delete the full cube. <laughs> so import FBX. So go into your model folder. The model on the outside of all of this should be the female. The model in where is it? <laughs> Here, this should be the male uh, model. Today we're just going to do the female, be doing the female model just because it's right there. And first thing you may notice is that it's actually fairly different. So one thing we don't have this big ass hole in the back for the in the back of the head, so we can actually technically technically have bald inklings. <laughs> also, we have uh, clothing on the bottom part here. It's actual underwear, so it'll. It's not just a big hole in the midsection. First off, first order of business, we have to get the ponds on. So we're going over here, import FBX, uh, bottom, and then let's just do dinner pants, female. This is a female model. And this is just gonna be kind of saying here for a few that's been building this, making these for long enough. But the bone that I want, that I want to connect the pants to, is spine one. Mainly because of the fact that if you actually go down here, click this. Never mind, connect it to the waist. Fine. This <laughs> is. So go over here. Go over here. Click the waist. Shift. S, cursor to selected. You know what? I should hold up. Okay, so yeah, we got this. <laughs> now you got. <coughs> Now you guys should be able to see what I'm doing on the keyboard. But well, back to focusing. So this is what we're doing. So Shift S was the original thing. So you deselect, go over here, and then Shift S connection connection to connect connect be zip it be 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 selection to cursor. I'm gonna click the model. Uh, go to the modifier tab, apply, click on jazz, and you're just gonna control P, click on transform, do this one over here, click the armature with the mod modders itself still selected, armature to form, the bada beam, bada boom, that, that stuff is basically kept kind of standard at this point. And then just check if it moves, it moves. <laughs> And now we can do the the shirts. So like the majority of like doing this is like just kind of comparing bones. So if you have like one bone, you connect it to that one bone. Usually, um, for clothing, like the shirts, so I can adjust. It's usually the bone that you want to join it to the model is usually on the bottom. I have yet to see one where it connects elsewhere. But it's mainly because uh, the bottom is usually the root and the the pant, the root for the pants is usually on the top. 
what the root is is the main thing that will actually that is actually like the main source of the model quote unquote so like it's so like movement is based entirely on that thing if the root moves into everything else that is attached to moves so there it is Alright, so same deal, check which button you're connected to is connected to the waist. Yeah, just connect it to the waist. If not, you may have to connect it to the what was it called? This spine wound. I'm not sure which one's the root. Well actually the way you can check that is just Alright, so the so the waist is a root. So we're gonna click the waist. Snap a ooh. That's not right. <laughs> okay, where's the root? Where the hell is the root? So that's root. Oops. Alright, so do this, 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 that. That's correct. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. Click the model. Alt P, Control P. I'm gonna do something. Click the model. Apply modifier. Control P. Clear action. Or clear parent. Control P while uh, clicking the armature with the uh, with the model tool selected. Armature to four. Then you just make sure that this is correct. You see, this is good. Okay. Now we'll take care of the shoes next. So, no. <laughs> so import FBX back up. Find the shoe model. Now, and this one is kind of the thing that I know of that that I know of that some people are struggling with. So, see this here? Well, actually, you check. Oh, let me show you something. You see that? You see that? See that? Yeah. I see something. That's the ankle assist. What is that? Oh, uh, it's not part of the model. <laughs> okay. You connect it via the ankle. So you go just click the model, click the ankle. Not the assist. The ankle. Shift S, control, control tab, control tab into the, the shoe armature, control S, curse, selection of the cursor, everything should move with it, but it did not. The, but. You guys think it may be this bone? Oh, only one way to find out. Move this back a bit. Alright, so. Click the assist L. Assist ankle left. But you have to do the same for this one. So this. Knit. Crystal selection. Shift S. Shift S on, I'm not Shift S, Control Tab, then Shift S on the shoe, section to cursor, and yeah, the whole thing moves with it. So it's a root. So usually, whenever it comes to it, um, 
something real quick. Usually, it's the pan. It's the bone that has this little dot right here. That is the armor. That is the root of the armature. So keep an eye out for that whenever you're doing this. So I have the armature still selected. Click the shoe. Shift D X. Control and X. Click the arm, click the main armature again. Click the ankle assist on the right side. Oh, let me. Oh, wait, no, it's just. <laughs> Grocery selection. Then click the shoe. Selection to cursor. I gotta apply both of these in the modifier tab. That's not right. When you click both of these, Control P, Alt, Option P, at least for me. For a Windows user, it may be Alt. I think, I don't know. <laughs> clear plan, clear and, tr clear and keep transformation. And click the armature. For me, Command P, maybe Control P for you guys. Armature to form. Click this, sh the right shoe. Change the name of the bone so it follows. Make sure it's not highlighted. Nice. So, now. We shall do the hair because we have a bald little girl right now. That's not very nice, is it? <clears throat> Give her cool deluxe. FBX. Back it up. H A R is hair, so. Okay, so the one I'm looking for is number 12, which is the braided one braided hair. Alright, so go over here. Click wrong. <laughs> Click the hair model. I mean armature. Then you have to find the root, which you already found. Head root. So then you're gonna go over to boom straight. Copy transformation. Armature. And then it should be head. That should already be on. And there you go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just do one more thing. New models. Alright, so now we have the cephalopods, so we at least have some piece of headgear. So this, we already have a root. So, no constraint, copy transform, armature, head. make the model go into edit mode and then what we're gonna have to do is that we're gonna have to remember how this is gonna have to go so the model is gonna stay this size and actually is it bigger so identify the top of the model which is gonna have to be it going this way and then oh is it currently is it going this way so what we're going to do is actually, so, rotate this a little bit, so rotate, R, probably, R, Y, 90. Unfortunately, it has to take some fun fame dangling. Uh, they'll probably be changed soon.